Guys, what's going on? Mike Tissio here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, um, as you can see, I moved I moved the stuff down here. Everything's down here, including the duping chest. Now, I did do a couple of things in my spare time, but a couple of things have been very fucking little. Obviously, here's the duping chest. Here's what I did. <laughs> a lot of fucking chests. Now... What are we going to do in this episode? We are going to, um... We're going to expand this outwards. We're going to expand this outwards. Into what is going to be the rest of the base. What is going to be the main base? Now, it's that way, that way, and then it's all around. So I've got these ch uh, stairs on me, not chairs, these stairs on me, so I know, uh... Basically where the limits are, where, where things are going to be. We're not going to decorate it in this episode, that might be next episode. But in this episode, we are just going to expand it outwards. So, it's going to be a lot of fucking digging. It's going to be... Ooh. Oh, diamonds. <laughs> so yeah, this episode is going to be a lot of mining. A lot of mining. Basically, what is... Oh... Probably almost, probably all of the episode because obviously there's a lot to dig out, and I only have a diamond pick. I could technically go to the Nether, try and find Netherite, but that would also, but that would also require a lot of um, duping as well, duping the Netherite and stuff. So, right, so that's two rooms done. Every room is going to be a five by five area. And we're going to have a few rooms. And they're going to be separated with stairs like that. That was the old design, if anybody does remember that. Also, does deep slate take longer to mine than uh, than cobble? Because I think it does. It feels like it does. Of course, we do that. Where the torches are going to go. Yeah, so now now do we understand? So this is one room, this one room, this is one room, this is another room. And then we're going to do that everywhere. There, 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 bloody everywhere. God. And then, of course, in my spare time, after, after the episode, because it, it'll take too long, I'll turn it all into cobble and decorate it all up and stuff. Yeah, I also want to thank somebody, someone in particular, who commented on not the last two episodes, the episode before the last two episodes, um, whose name is Taylor Green. I woke up this morning, and I, I woke up as I do every morning, and I had two notifications from YouTube saying that I had you know, comments on my video. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll check them out. One of them was on a on an ARC video, and the other one was on a Minecraft video. And Taylor Green, the person who commented on the Minecraft video, put a love heart on uh, the one where I couldn't find a dungeon for the life of me, only to find out the dungeon was basically right next to me. Put a love heart on that video, and I really I woke up and I saw that, and that really made me smile. I was like, yeah, yay, thank you. Thank you, someone... Someone likes my content. Someone is, you know, enjoying the fact that I make stuff. And yeah, they just made me, they just made me happy. So, thank you. If you're watching this, unlikely, but thank you. Here we go. There's another room done. And that makes sense. Yeah. One, two, three, four. There's no three. There's one, two, three. Three rooms. Six left to go. <laughs> Keep giving me tough, please, because that's really easy to mine. It breaks in like a second. That's the only problem with Minecraft, is sometimes it's very tedious. When you're building a base like this... When you're building a base like this, you know, and you need to do a lot of digging, a lot of mining... Mining out places like this. It gets very tedious, very boring, very fast. Because this is only the fourth room that I'm done, and I've, I'm already bored of it. I already don't don't want to do it anymore. 
I mean, usually when I play, I'm listening to Distractable, right? Normally when I'm playing, I'm listening to Distractable, so I'm not, you know, it's not as boring. Because I'm, you know, half the time I'm laughing like a madman. So, it's usually not as bad. But, this time, I'm not saying it's bad, but, you know, I am just kind of doing nothing. So there's something I want to talk about real quick, and that is Minecraft updates. And I'm sure we all have our complaints about Minecraft updates, but I have one in particular. And, it, you know, it's something that pretty much everyone has said. Or at least I feel like everyone has said this. I don't actually know if they have. But I think... The Minecraft updates are now becoming more and more meaningless. You know, they're, they're becoming less and less useful. They're becoming worse. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to blame Mojang. I can't blame Mojang. I, you know, I've tried making a game before and I know that it's not very easy. Especially, you know, when you've got all these big plans and you can never basically live up to them. But I do feel like, I'm not saying that Mojang is lazy, because that's definitely not it, and that's just mean to say. But I have found myself being less motivated by updates. <laughs> Usually, when a game gets updated, like Overwatch, let's say Overwatch, an Overwatch update seems fun, and, not, and you know, I'm like, oh, you know, I kind of want to play that now. And then I go and play Overwatch, because the update was worth it, the update was fun. Bloom's Tower Defense 6, every update of that, when that comes out, I'm like, oh yeah, that was a good update, I like that update. But not Minecraft. Every time there's a new Minecraft update, I'm kind of... You know, I'm not... F I'm really, really fucking hungry. Every time there's a new Minecraft update, I just... I pretty much don't care about the update. I'm more worried about the... You know, it's like... Oh, I don't care about the Minecraft update. I, I want to play, you know... It's... I don't know. It's not about the update, basically, is what I'm saying. is I don't care about when the update... Or what the update is, or when it comes out. I don't care what's in it. Because the update is worthless now. The update is useless. They're not adding anything I want. You know, I know it's a bit selfish to be like, I want this in my update when there's other people. But I feel like other people also don't care. There are other, I think there are that other people like, oh, this is not what we wanted, Bojang. So... <laughs> You know, different different armors, different weapons, giving uses to items like a fletching table. That's been in the game for fucking ages and that's still useless. You know, giving us new ores that can actually do stuff. Updating the end, I guess. Updating the end or updating the ocean. Updating the dungeons. You know, that's a big complaint everyone's been having. You know, I know it's not necessarily Mojang's fault. A lot of people's problem is with the mob vote. It's because everyone votes for a mob, and then the the mob that everyone voted for is now useless. But that, that is down to you. That is your fault. You voted for that mob. And granted, you know, it's not everyone that voted for that mob. I, I voted for the stone golem in the last one. And it was the sniffer, and the sniffer is fucking dog shit, absolutely useless. But then that's not also necessarily the people's fault. Mojang doesn't implement it correctly. I think Mojang doesn't implement it correctly. I don't know. I just feel like the, the Minecraft updates are becoming less and less useful, more meaningless, and basically a bigger waste of time with every update. With every update that comes out, I feel like 
Mojang is just basically wasting their time on the update because there's better stuff they could do. And I know there's better stuff they could do. You know, you, they could give us more, like, golems, let's say. Give us more golems. We like golems. Give us more golems. Give us more mobs. Give us more enemies. Give us more items. Give us, you know, update areas. Make things look nice. Don't just... I think what Mojang is doing, and again, I can't say I'm necessarily blaming Mojang alone, because it's not Mojang, it is other people. You know, the community is saying this and saying that, saying they want this, and then Mojang gives them that. And, you know, but it is mostly down to Mojang with the decision of should it be added, I guess. And... What I feel Mojang is doing is leaving it up to the community to decide what we want. And of course, as a community, we cannot decide what we want because everyone has different play styles. Everyone has different tastes. Everybody wants different things. Some people want to fight. Some people want to build. Some people want to craft. Some people want to dig. Everyone's different. And so they're taking the majority out of that. Inst taking the majority instead of the average. <laughs> You know, the majority of people want to dig, so they'll update the caves. Instead of taking the average of, okay, we want new new items. And then they added copper. Which I'm pretty sure we can all agree is one of the worst blocks in the game. And it is completely useless. Like, come on. What, what was that? What was that? What the fuck was with that copper? Copper was absolutely useless, absolutely dog shit. There was no point in that, and absolutely no point in that. And they added it. Seriously. And the glow squid. That was a mob vote. So the people that voted for that, what the fuck is wrong with you, you fools? Oh no, it's just, just a little bit of a complaint that I had about Mojang. No, 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 like I said, it wasn't necessarily Mojo, but it's like... Minecraft is pretty much becoming less and less worth playing. I, like I said before, like, I don't play Minecraft often. Because I don't feel like there's any need to. I can, there's a lot of stuff that I can play that has basically the same meaning and, you know, pretty much the same as Minecraft. But better, I guess. Like Terraria. Like Terraria, for example. Now, I know Terraria is not exactly the same as Minecraft, but, you know, there is digging and mining. But there's also bosses. There's stuff to do. There's, you know, there there are more objectives. I can still build stuff in Terraria. I can still craft stuff. I can still go digging. I can still do all this shit that I can do in Minecraft. And Terraria feels almost worth playing because it has stuff that I want to want to do. And I'm not saying that Minecraft isn't worth playing, because of course I'm playing it, but every now and then I'll get a burst of, I guess, dopamine, burst of motivation to play a game. Whether that's Skyrim, whether that's, you know, this or that. I Every now and then I get a complete burst of a burst of uh, motivation to play a game, and then I'm like, oh yeah, let's, let's go play that. And then I play that game. <laughs> It is very rare for me to get that from Minecraft. I get it quite often for Skyrim. I get it often for Fallout. I get it every now and then for Terraria. I do not get it from Minecraft. Not as much as I used to. Years and years ago, many years ago, I used to want to play Minecraft all the time. And I did play Minecraft pretty much every day, doing different stuff. But now, the with all the updates that have come out at this point i feel like there's there's actually nothing new to minecraft i'm gonna be honest i'm going to be 100 percent honest from the times that i used to play it all the way back then to what we to how i play it now very little has changed very very little has changed in minecraft not saying nothing has changed, but there's very little that has been worth the change. And it makes me 
you know, again, I'm not necessarily blaming Mojang, I'm blaming the community as well. It makes me feel like Minecraft has gone to the docks. Again, I play on Bedrock, so there is that argument. But I cannot afford fucking five grand for a computer, right? I just, you know... Minecraft and its community, Mojang, and the people, you know, who are close in Mojang, I just feel like they've basically, not only, they've not necessarily ruined Minecraft. Again, I'm not saying they ruined Minecraft. They didn't ruin Minecraft. But it is less, it is less worth it now than it was before. And that is not the nostalgia talking, that is gameplay talking. I play games all the time. And I know the difference. Come at me all you want in the comments. I'm just saying. Minecraft. Does not. Feel worth my time. Anymore. I brought it back. Because I like Minecraft. I'm not saying I don't like Minecraft. I do like Minecraft. I really like Minecraft. And just, just also air in my grievances. That the updates themselves. Every year they bring out a new update. What are they bringing out in the next update? A new mob, a new basically dungeon, a new a new dungeon which is pretty much completely multiplayer. So you've ignored, you know, single players for that. Like me, I'm single player. You know, I, ju I just wanted to wear my grievances about that. I don't know. I'm going to leave this episode here anyway. I've, I've talked way too much complaining about this, about all of this. Um, but yeah, this is what the up, this is what the uh, the house is going to be. I know that was a dramatic shift in tone. But um, yeah, so this is what it is. In my spare time, I'm just going to decorate it with walls into uh, uh, deep slate cobble, and roof and floor. What I will do in my spare time is I'm going to grab a nether portal. So what these rooms are going to be is, this is going to be the enchanting room. This is going to be the nether portal. The brewery. Stairs leading into more of the base. Storage. Storage. Bedroom. And then walkways. Oh no, this isn't going to be storage. This is going to be the, the way out. But what I'm also going to do in my spare time is I'm also going to go to the nether and find netherite firstly and glowstone and, you know, just a couple of things. Magma and soul sand, you know. But yeah, that was, that was a maybe a boring episode, I don't know. I'll see you in editing. There was just a lot of me talking. I do apologise for that, but like I said... Just needed to air out a couple of grievances. Anyway, guys. Anyways, I'm going to leave this episode here. But anyways, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you liked it, you guys know what to do. And guys, my two show here. Say goodbye. Love you guys for next time. Bye-bye.